Hey guys, it's Abby here. As you can see, I had a 0F1 error, and as I was pulling on that frame, it was stuck on that white piece, that white plastic piece, which is that print head lock. And I needed to take out that waste pump to uh, change out that lock because it was getting stuck and it wouldn't go down. So here I am, I'm taking off the two screws that are holding in that scanner, the two screws that hold that fax cover. Once you take off that fax cover, it's going to reveal all the wires that are connecting to the main board and to the scanner. Once I get those all disconnected, I can take off that scanner and pull the wires through. Then we can focus on that hinge, taking the one screw off from the top and the one screw from the bottom under the hinge, and then taking all the other screws off the top of that top cover. Then it will reveal us to that metal piece on the side next to the waste pump and we'll just take the three screws off of that and once you get the three screws off you just have to unhook that encoder strip that's hooked on the top of that metal piece there. I kind of pull my metal piece off and then just unhook it a by uh, pulling it backwards a little bit. And here I am now I'm just pulling, um, trying to unhook because there's a little hook that's connected to that print lock to the waste pump. Now that I moved my frame over, now I can unscrew my waste pump. There's two screws there. You just need to pull that white piece over to the right and then it will reveal that other screw that's deep down. Once I get my two screws out, that's when I can take that tube off and just run it through there. And then I can take out my waste pump. I'm going to pull out that spring that was connecting, um, that broken that broken spring that was connecting my print lock to the waste pump. And I'm going to take a new spring, hook it on there, and I'm going to try to fish it, hook it on to uh, that bottom hook on the waste pump. I'm gonna, I laid it onto the side. If you lay it on its side, it's easier for it to stay on. And I'm going to take a rubber band, keeping it on its side and press it down while I stretch the rubber band to the other side. This will hold the print lock in, in place, I'm sorry. Uh, now that I have it in place, it's still holding it in that, and now here I am, I'm just showing you that that spring is still there. You wanna make sure that spring is holding that print head lock in place. And now I'm just putting the waste pump back into the printer. You wanna make sure that it fits in there nice and snug. And once you get it in there fitting correctly, then you'll just feed that tube back through behind that motor and placing it back onto the tube connection. Now I put my metal um, cover back in there and you have to kind of slide it behind that where that bottom screw is, you slide it in back there and put in my top screw and my side screw. And a good reminder is to remember to hook your encoder strip back on there. Otherwise, your frame will not be able to read it. And once you got that part, now you can go ahead and snip that rubber band that was holding everything in place. Uh, either way you pull it is fine, really. It's just whatever way is easiest. As you can see, it's coming through. And that way my print headlock was still in place, um, snug, and I can move it both ways. And my frame goes all the way to the right, all the way to the left. I put everything back together, followed my steps backwards, turning my printer on, and as it loads, I just have to wait. I opened it up just to check, see if everything was moving correctly. Uh, and I pressed OK, and happy printing, it works.